Okay, welcome to possibly the most comprehensive smartphone charging comparison you've ever seen. We've got OnePlus's warp charging, which they're likely to carry on to their future devices. Huawei's ridiculously powerful 40 watt supercharging, which has won all my past tests. We've got Oppo's VOOC flash charging, OnePlus's Dash Charge, which was then renamed to Fast Charge because of a bit of a copyright issue. And then of course, Samsung's adaptive fast charging. But for the first time, we're gonna take a step back and look at the whole picture. This is pretty much every current smartphone charging standard and how much power each one delivers. And by the end of this video, we're gonna have a conclusive answer as to which one of these charging standards delivers the fastest charge or the most milliamp hours per minute. So in front of us right now, we've got five current top tier devices, and I've just literally drained the batteries here in front of you just to show you that each one is completely empty. I've plugged each phone in with its stock charger, turn them all on, and then equalize the settings. So we've got no NFC, no Wi-Fi, but Bluetooth is on. Apologies in advance for the Mate 20 Pro. It took me about 20 minutes just to get it to sit still in one position. I get there eventually. So far then, the brand new OnePlus Warp Charge as well as Huawei Supercharge have already pulled ahead. They're in a league of their own after less than five minutes. This is kind of what you'd expect given that Warp Charge is a 30 watt charge and Supercharge offers up to 40 watt charging compared to the others that are 20 or below. We're also gonna see at the end how these compare to Oppo's SuperVOOC charging, which claimed to be when it was launched the fastest phone charging in the world at 50 watts. Bear in mind though that just reading the wattage figure alone doesn't give you the full picture as to how fast it'll charge your phone. One of the other factors which is very important is temperature. The better a charger can control its temperature, the better it can deliver sustained high power. And to that end, it does seem like OnePlus has knocked it out the park when it comes to warp charging. It is still, after 15 minutes, trading blows with the Mate 20 Pro, even though it's only offering 75% of the peak charging power. That's really impressive, does indicate better temperature control. If you take a look at the far right, the Galaxy Note 9 is chugging quite a bit behind, which you'd expect given its specs. You're looking at a 15 watt charger to fill a massive 4,000 milliamp hour battery. On one hand, this phone isn't doing as bad as it looks because we are comparing it to the best of the best when it comes to charging speed. And you'll see this summarized in the end results. But at the same time, you can't help but feel like Samsung could do better. The phone is great in so many ways and is held back slightly by that very average charging speed. Interestingly, OnePlus's fast charge has slipped ahead of the Oppo Find X's VOOC charging, even though they've got the same wattage and are based on the same technology. One thing is that the Oppo is charging a slightly larger battery, but the main thing here must be that OnePlus has done a better job of optimizing. Okay, flicking our attention back to the far left, and you can see that the McLaren OnePlus 6T and the Huawei Mate 20 Pro have almost finished charging and it's still not reached an hour yet. What I was really surprised by is that right at the end, the McLaren overtook the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Similar to what I noticed in past battery charging tests, with the Mate 20 Pro on the last few percentage points, it slows to a crawl. It took nearly seven minutes to go from 99% to 100%. So either that software not correctly indicating the battery percentage over time, or it could be a hardware thing. Maybe Supercharge does actually get this slow as the device fills up. Either way though, it's the same result. As the last two phones finish, just take a look at the battery capacity figures of all the phones. You can see the McLaren 6T has a 3,700 milliamp hour battery. So while it did finish charging faster than the Mate 20 Pro, it'll be interesting to see whether the actual charging speed was higher, or did it just finish first because the battery is smaller? Okay, all finished, let's take a look at the results. And starting with the five phones we have here, the Galaxy Note 9 came in fifth place. This was followed by the Oppo Find X, about 10 minutes faster. Pretty good charging speed here. This is a 20 watt charger. But the OnePlus 60 was a real surprise, much, much faster charging than even the Oppo. What I did not expect was then that the Mate 20 Pro came in second place with a staggering time of one hours and 13, and this was beaten by the OnePlus 60 McLaren at just an hour. So if we compile all the results I've got with all the results I've had from different charging tests, as well as some that I've used from XDA, I'll link the article below, these are the final charging speeds for all the different standards. Nothing has beaten Oppo's SuperVOOC charging yet, but at the same time, OnePlus warp charging coming just below that was something surprising and very impressive. All right, this video has been a killer to put together, so if you did enjoy it, it would mean a lot to me if you could smash that subscribe button down below. As always, my name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.